Alright guys, the Edge and Blades here and we're with the Uzi Tactical Defender Pin 3. Um, sold by Blade HQ, or at least that's where I got mine. Um, produced by Campco. You can see right there, campco.com. Well, probably see it better. But here's the pin itself. Comes in this little plastic sleeve, which we will put aside. Go over some specs real quick. Um, overall length is six and a quarter inches. The diameter is a little bit over half an inch, um, and it weighs 1.8 ounces. So it's a pretty hefty pen. Um, it obviously, it's uh, an aluminum um, body, and I uh, got mine, like I said, at Blade HQ for $17.95. So, um, I'll just go over it real quick. Get that for uh, when I do a writing test. Uh, I'll show you close up real quick. Let's see, Uzi. Um, interesting pocket clip, just pretty standard. It comes with this little protective nub, which covers up um, what they call a DNA catcher on the crown of the pen here. I'll show you that. And that is very sharp, so obviously as a, um, a self-defense pen, you would either use um, the the writing end here without without the ink obviously it just you twist it in the ink comes out and you can write pretty smooth um, it comes with um, just the standard black um, ink cartridge but according to the website it also takes Fisher and uh, Parker inserts I'll just show you that real quick. Unscrew it. It's got a little O-ring, a spring back there to uh, keep pressure on it. There's just their standard um, ink cartridge. You can see spring. Spring tension keeps it from uh, you know collapsing on you when you uh, are using it in a tactical uh, manner. Either, like I said, with the the pointy end as an impact or pressure point um, for control or this uh, crown which uh, they they call a DNA catcher and uh, I'll show you that real quick just a little stabbing in there you can see it just kinda cuts out <laughs> nice little circle in the paper obviously you would not want that um, if you were an assailant, you would not want that, you know, impacting you in any spot. Um, and and having said that, a lot of times people will want to put their uh, their thumb on top if they're striking like that. With this one, that's something you definitely don't want to do because that'll wind up taking a chunk of your thumb out with it. So that's just something to worry about or think about. Um, obviously, you can get decent grip. It's got this nice. Um, grooves uh, machined in here for a, a sturdy grip it's not gonna slide around and this one's cool because in the crown it has a handcuff key so if you're in law enforcement maybe you lose your your key or something something like that I don't know whatever the scenario may be you have a spare in your tactical pen um, I carry this as part of my work EDC where I don't really have um, a defensive, well I do, but um, a, a main blade that is super easily accessible. This is kind of sheeple friendly. I mean, you know, it looks bulkier than a pen and to someone who knows what it is, obviously it would be a more tactical pen, but um, overall... It is, in my opinion, a great budget pen. Um, I know Benchmades and Hinder and stuff like that go from 200 to 300 to 400 to $500 for a, a tactical pen. This one for less than 20 bucks, I think is a great value. Um, comfortable in the pocket. It's a bit heavy, but it, it will be lighter than most of your knives, I'm sure. So 
if you're used to carrying a knife in your pocket, you don't really have to worry about that. And the only downside I see to it is that when it is in your pocket and you're, you're reaching in your pocket, because this is so sharp, um, you just have to be be aware um, when you're reaching in not to, you know, rip up the side of your hand. I, I usually don't have a problem with it, um, but I usually, when I'm going to reach in my pocket, just use my pinky to push it out of the way and then go down. So it's not an issue, but again, see, easy, twist, the pen comes out, twist the other way, it retracts back in, and you have a great uh, self-defense tool that you can use pretty much anywhere. Um, I'm not sure of any places that would consider this <laughs> um, too dangerous to have. <laughs> so, I don't know, perhaps your teacher or something like that. It's just a normal pen. You can carry this wherever. Um, and it's definitely got that formidable tip there. They have several different um, variations on this uh whether that you know this one is the defender pen uh model three or series three um i believe it goes from one all the way to six or five something like that and then each one has different options um this one i showed you has the removable handcuff key and dna catcher uh, defense crown some of them come with a carbide glass breaker um so definitely just check out Blade HQ and um, jump on these. I'm not sure if they're on sale or if that's just the normal price that they're selling them for. But in my opinion, it's a great, uh, great deal, great buy for the money. And uh, this will last you a very long time. Nice aluminum construction here, which makes it lighter very strong still and like I said you either have pressure point um, control or impact or uh, DNA catcher on that end so just something pretty cool I'll be having some more videos um, coming up soon got a couple autos I want to do a review on but uh, just for now thank you for watching and um, <laughs> Yep, I just talked for seven and a half minutes about a pen. <laughs> Y'all enjoy your day.